This is a screencast about resistor arrays. This is what a resistor array looks like. This is another resistor array, and that it looks pretty similar. Every resistor array, you'll notice, has a dot or a block at one end. That arrow points to the block. You see the block right above that pin. The pin at the end with the dot or the block is called the common. Here you see what a resistor array looks insi like inside. You have a bunch of resistors, one end of which are in common, and that's what's connected to the common pin. A resistor array is convenient when you need several resistors which will all have one end connected to the same point in the circuit. So for instance, when you need to replace all of the individual resistors with a dip switch. Here's what it looks like, sort of in a three-dimensional view from the inside. And at the bottom, you'll see along here, these are like the rows in a breadboard. So the resistor array pins all do individual pins in one row of a breadboard and you can make connections to the pins from the other rows as usual. Here we have the common pin in this case is connected to ground and some of the other resistors are connected to something else. As it says, only some of the breadboard holes are shown so that it isn't too cluttered. You can replace all of the pull-up or pull-down resistors for a dip switch or a keypad, like this. This drawing kind of indicates what the connections are actually like inside. Since there's only one pin on each of these, you'll notice that the connection coming from this point is actually coming from the point where the switch and the resistor meet, which is what you want. 